Hi everyone, this is Denis and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply polynomial regression in RapidMiner. Sometimes the data that we have has some exponential component in there, so linear regression models do not fit well for representing that data. So for that reason, uh, the, uh, one of the approaches that we can take is to use a polynomial regression. So let's go ahead and load the data in RapidMiner so that we can exemplify. But for this particular example, I'm going to just generate the data. We have a generate data uh, operator, yeah, generate data, in which I can specify the target function which is going to generate the data. So I'll just say polynomial. So I'm going to require a polynomial function that is going to create me um, 100 examples. So this is what I'm specifying here. And it also well asks for a number of attributes. So I just, I'll just go ahead and say three. So let's see how it looks like. All right, so I asked for three attributes. We had three attributes and we also have the label, which is numerical. All right, so you can just tell by the green background that RapidMiner already recognizes this as a label role. So we don't need to, uh, to set the role, right? Also check the visualization. Right, I don't want a scatter plot, but I want a linear and uh, I want a line graph and the value attribute should be the label. Yes. All right. So apparently this is our polynomial data. So I would like to fit that. I would like to just model it with regression, uh, with polynomial regression. So I'm going to use a polynomial regression block. There we go. To apply that, I will require an apply model. So here it is. So that requires unlabeled data. Normally I'm supposed to split the data, but for the time, for the sake of simplicity, I'll just provide data as it is. And then I would also, um, well, normally I would just want to measure the performance of my regression. So I'm going to require a performance regression, but uh, performance regression block. See, we have a special block um, for perform for uh, regression performance, right? So uh, just make sure that you're selecting the right one, right? So because we have a bunch of other performance operators, right? Okay, so let's make the connections. Yeah, and I would also like to have the labeled data and I'm going to just run it. See, now in the labeled data, we have the, uh, the original labels, plus we have the predicted values. All right. So if you, if you take a look at the performance, uh, by the way, I should have also showed you, let me go back to design and click on performance. We have a bunch of uh, metrics that we can select from in terms of the error metrics and also other types of performance metrics for, uh, for my regression model, right? But I'm really interested in only the root mean squared error for the time being, but I will just go ahead and select the absolute error to show you that this will also be included. I'll just run it again and check the performance. See, uh, the ones that I wanted, the, the root mean squared error and also absolute error are provided here. Let me finally go ahead and visualize it. See the blue one is the original label and the green is uh, the green is my predicted label. So it, that this is not the best prediction for sure, but yeah, there are ways to improve this as well. But for the time being, I think this is going to be okay. So this was polynomial regression with rapid minor.